Okay, serious question time. If your brain is so smart, why can't you remember literally the most dramatic day of your life? You know, the one where you escaped a human and screamed into existence covered in goo? That's right. Why can't we remember our own birth? Spoiler alert, it's not because you were too busy updating your baby Instagram. The amnesia mystery. So here's the deal. You remember your third birthday, there was cake, you wore a paper hat, someone cried, classic toddler drama, but before that, it's like someone wiped your hard drive with baby wipes. This mind-numbing phenomenon is called infantile amnesia, which sounds like a Netflix thriller, but it's just a fancy way of saying your baby brain was terrible at saving files. Yes, your brain was online, but nothing was downloading, processing memory, oh wait, I forgot what I was doing. Your brain was under construction. Let's be real, at birth, your brain wasn't exactly top shelf. It was more like a cheap IKEA shelf, not fully assembled, missing half the screws. And no one read the manual. The part of your brain that does the remembering, the hippocampus, was still in baby beta mode. Basically, it was squishy, underdeveloped, and not interested in storing traumatic memories like, oh, hey, I just got yanked into a bright room by strangers in masks uh, holding a stuffed hippo-labeled campus. This is your hippocampus. It, it wanted to help you remember, but it was too busy learning how to not poop itself. Priorities, people. Language, the brain's internal USB. Okay, here's something wild. Most of your earliest memories are tied to language. And let me guess, as a newborn, you didn't exactly pop out quoting Shakespeare. Words are how we organize memories. Think of language like those cute little file tabs for your brain, but since babies can't say birth canal trauma, or why is that man slapping me, those events go straight into the memory shredder. Visual gag, baby throwing files into a paper shredder. Nope, can't talk about it, can't store it. Bye. Memories need context. Ever walked into a room and forgot why you were there? Now imagine doing that, but every five minutes. And that was basically your first year of life. Babies lack episodic memory, the Netflix series version of remembering life events. Without language and self-awareness, you can't bookmark memories. You're basically watching your life on shuffle with the subtitles turned off. In a world where your own name is a mystery, and the only word you know is ga, one baby must survive without a memory. Self-awareness, what's that? Here's the kicker. You didn't even know you were you until around 18 to 24 months. Before that, your brain thought mirror reflection, probably just another chubby bald guy who likes applesauce. And without that magical thing called self-awareness, your brain wasn't like, ah, yes, I, Steve the baby, am being born right now. I shall remember this forever. No. Your brain was like, ah, a brilliant observation, truly. Birth is trauma. No, seriously. Let's talk about what birth is really like. For you, the baby, imagine this. You're chilling in a warm, dark jacuzzi for nine months. Free food, no bills, zero drama. Then suddenly, bam, you're evicted with zero notice, shoved through a tight exit tunnel, slapped on the butt and forced to breathe cold air while a nurse wipes slime off your head. Yup. Welcome to Earth, sucker. Now tell me... If birth wasn't a traumatic experience, why do adults still have dreams of falling or being trapped? That's your subconscious saying, hey, remember that one time? The time we almost didn't fit? But again, since your baby brain was running Windows negative one, it didn't bother storing that terror in the archive folder. Yeah, this one's going straight to trash. No thanks. Survival first, memories later. Babies are built for survival, not scrapbooking. The first months of life are all about breathing, eating, pooping, not getting eaten by a saber-toothed tiger. If you were born 50,000 years ago, of course. Your body was like, listen, we can either remember this moment or we can learn how to swallow milk without choking. Pick one, and let's be honest, you chose milk. Do I want to recall the bright light and loud screaming? Nope, just give me boob and nap. False memories and the lies we tell. Now, here's where it gets spicy. Some people think they remember being born. They'll say things like, I remember the doctor lifting me up and the cold air on my skin, and to that we say, "Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Also, not real. You're just really good at, at assembling fake memories, from photos, stories your parents told you, movies where babies are born and magically clean. <laughs> your brain is basically a fan fiction writer going, what if I did remember being born? Yeah, and what if cats paid taxes? This totally happened, probably, maybe. 
baby brains versus adult brains. The quick, sciencey, but still funny moment, promise. Babies have twice as many neurons as adults. That's right, your baby brain was packed, but, and here's the kicker, those neurons weren't talking to each other like they were supposed to. It was like having a room full of geniuses who forgot how to use a phone. No communication equals no long-term memory. Eventually, your brain pruned the extra fluff, built stronger connections, and said, cool, let's start remembering things like Legos and that one time Timmy stole my sandwich. But by then, your birth memory was long gone, forever, poof. Hello, memory department, anyone? No? Okay. So, what do we remember? Good question. Glad you asked, invisible viewer. While you don't remember the moment you were born, you might remember the smell of your mom, the sound of a lullaby, that weird fuzzy giraffe toy you licked once. These aren't full memories, they're sensory imprints like footprints in jello. Not sharp, not clear, but somehow still comforting. So don't feel bad, you're not broken, you're just human. So to recap, you can't remember your birth because your brain was too busy building itself. You couldn't speak yet, and you didn't even know you were you. Also, birth is scary, slimy, and a little too traumatic for your baby self to keep on replay. But hey, maybe it's for the best. Who really wants to remember being yanked out into the world by a guy yelling push anyway? Exactly. So, if you're still mad that you forgot your own origin story, just blame your hippocampus, or your diaper, or both. Like, share, and subscribe for more weird answers to questions you didn't know you needed. And comment below, do you remember being born? Or are you just making things up like everyone else? See you next time on Your Brain is Weird and So Are You.